Okay, I'm gonna take this part and I gotta unscrew something else. Sammy, what are you doing here? Why have you disassembled all of our toy cars? Don't worry, Sue. It's all about my upcoming scientific expedition to the moon. I'll build a moon rover to move on the surface of the Earth's satellite. Are you really going to go around the moon on a handmade moon rover? Yep. Why are you asking? Are you doubting me? How could you? I can't believe you don't believe in me. Hmm, you know, actually, I could even help you with that. Follow me. Really? I wonder what she is up to. Hi, guys. Today, Sam and I are going to build a copy of a real moon rover. How's that a rover? Right now, I can only see some pieces of wood. These pieces of wood, as you called them, are actually the moon rover pieces which we're going to work with. Is that so? Well, we'll see what comes out of that, Engineer Sue. And under the plastic cover, we've got four plates with the pieces. I am having doubts here. Are you sure you have enough time to assemble everything for my journey? I will make it if someone helps me. For example, you could squeeze out the pieces we're going to need. This way. You can always rely on me. Sam the Constructor is ready for work. Great. This way the construction process might go way faster. Now it's time to insert the motor so our rover can actually walk on the moon's surface. Sue, I think I'm just in time. Here are some new pieces. Thanks, you keep that up. Gladly. In the meantime, we'll continue assembling the rover. Like this. Carefully connecting all the pieces together. Here we go. Sue, I want to participate in that too. Can I? la da dee la da 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 and done! Let's attach just one more piece and we'll be finished with this part of our moon rover. Great! Sue, would you like to go on an expedition to the moon with me? Guys, did you know that the oldest moon map dates back to about 5,000 years? Ancient people carved it right in stone! Impressive! The moon has always attracted people's attention! The lunar disk has illuminated the way of travelers for centuries! While Sam was telling you interesting facts, I assembled this cogwheel structure. Oh, that looks like a meteor shower! I better hide under my umbrella! And voila! Magic always helps out! Let's put these parts together! Perfect! Guys, did you know there are about 300,000 craters on the moon? Largest is called Aitken. Its size is astonishing. It's 2.5 thousand kilometers wide and 8 kilometers deep. Very interesting, Professor Samuel. Would you tell us something about moon rovers too while I'm dealing with the wheels? With pleasure. The first ever moon rover called Lunokhod 1 was created in 1970. It was supposed to explore the surface of the moon. Later on, other models of moon rovers started to appear. They could be driven either by a pilot or remotely from Earth. Ours is the model of a moon rover called Hopringer. It analyzes the climate and terrain on Proxima Centauri. Only, why isn't it moving? That's because it just has two wheels, Sue! Well, it must have six as a minimum! Let's turn to magic again to make more wheels. One, Two, three, and four! By the way, these wheels need protectors so they won't get stuck on the surface of the planet! Right, Sue? Right! Our rover should be able to drive even through the most remote areas. Here comes the last wheel! And this will be able to move on its own! Cool! It's going well! <laughs> I wonder what will come out of this? Any ideas? Guys? Sammy? Hmm, it looks like the wing of a Stormtrooper Starfighter from the Star Wars movie! <laughs> You've got some imagination, Sammy! I'm ready to conquer the Earth satellite, and you'll help me with it! <laughs> and then we'll invade other planets, too! <laughs> All right, Sammy, but only under one condition. I wonder what kind of condition that is. 
Well, I'd like the process to go a little quicker. Could you help us using your magic skills? Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity! Done! Wow! You helped me a bunch, Sammy! We have just a little bit left. Now check this out! There's even a real camera! Cool! Is this for shooting little green men living on the moon? <laughs> of course not! No one lives on the moon! The first person who'd been there was Neil Armstrong. Oh! I also know that the gravity of the moon is six times weaker than on Earth! It's important to attach all the pieces correctly so our rover doesn't fall apart! Drum roll! Ta-da! <laughs> they are jumping so funnily! Oh, I guess I'll also need a spacesuit! Sammy, what are you doing there? What's happening? We need to make the front part. Bring the pieces here, please. Yep, astronaut Samuel is to the rescue. Thanks. You're always welcome. Let's attach the first piece right here, carefully, and press it. And here is the last element of our rover. Ahem, actually it's not the last one. I found this, it looks like a bucket of an excavator. This is a special part that collects stones from the moon surface to run the soil analysis. And we're done here! Wow, Sue! You did it! I never doubted you! Except it looks kind of plain. Hmm, I'm afraid you're right. It won't be seen on the moon surface indeed. How about covering it with candy wrappers? It will immediately become attractive and bright! <sighs> oh, Sammy, you're incorrigible. But I guess I know what we need. See? My fondness for sweets helped you. Want some Mentos? Yeah, thanks for the candy, but we better get to work. We're going to paint our rover. I'll just take these away and help you with that. All right, let's get started. We'll begin painting with this metallic silver. Carefully, this way. Interesting. Sue, why did you choose silver as the main color? <laughs> That's easy. Silver reflects the sun rays better. Ah, and I thought it would help the rover be invisible for the moon citizens. We've been over this. No one lives on the moon. By the way, the rover will not just be silver. We'll also use black and yellow colors. We'll never finish this way! Can I help, Sue? Well, if you're sure you can handle such meticulous work, then okay. Go on! Guys, if you like the artworks of Master Samuel, then please subscribe to our channel! Care for a pinch of magic? Wow! Okay, let's take some paint. Huh, perfect! And get started! You know, Sue, it's not that big of a deal. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. La 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 la. Sue, I'm a little tired. Would you like to continue? <sighs> Fine. I guess it's time to add some brightness to our rover. Just check out this beautiful yellow color. Whoa, such bright elements, just like the moon itself! By the way, guys, did you know that the moon doesn't shine by itself? It actually just reflects the sun rays. Awesome! And it looks like a cheese, too! I don't like it, though. I think we need to speed it up a little. Let's move to the front part. It will also be yellow. Do not rush. Do everything neatly. This way. Just a little more, and all will be done! Well, Sue, did you finish painting our moon rover? Ugh, Sue, show me, please! I can't wait to see it! <laughs> all right! Ta-da!
la. Well, the rover is ready. Where is he? Sammy? Oh, I'm screwed. I don't feel like going to the moon alone anymore. It's kind of scary. Um, yes, yes, Sue. Coming. Sue, I've been thinking. Maybe I'd better stay on Earth? The moon is kind of too far. You miss me. Shall we send Fluffy instead? What made you give up an honored place like that? <gasps> I know. You just got scared. You see, first I wanted to go, but then I changed my mind. Plus, this rover seems to be too little for me. Unexpected! Don't you think? Well, then why did we even make it, Sammy? I know! I have so many toys! I think these are the best candidates for the flight to the moon! Okay! Then let's go make space suits for our travelers! See you soon, guys! Bye! Bye-bye!